Hello everyone and welcome back. As you can see today we are playing Minecraft, but uh we're doing something a bit different. We're not just playing any regular Minecraft, uh we're not doing a regular playthrough of Minecraft. I decided to do something that I've been wanting to do for a minute now. Um something I've never really done before, like on my own. Uh recently I've been watching a lot of videos about um Kind of like some of these, not secrets, but like stories and uh, ARGs around Minecraft, like Hero Brian. Oh, there was one I was watching last night that was really good, but it was about some old alpha or beta updates that they didn't actually exist, but there was this big storyline and secrets about them. I, I don't know, it was it was cool. I liked looking into that. And, um, <coughs> this is kind of. Not around the time I started playing Minecraft, but like right before, I would have started playing about at update 1, I believe, or like 1.0, when it originally was released to console and PC. So this is a bit before my time, but um, it's still definitely nostalgic, because, I don't know, something about the game, the way it looks or feels, is just very... Like, it brings back memories of when I used to play this game as a as a kid. And uh, as far as I know, beds don't even exist in this version, which isn't a good thing, because that means I won't be able to sleep at night. Also, punching sheep drops their wool. Although the only good thing, or the only thing wool is good for in this update is carpets. Uh, as far as I know. But, um, whatever. The only kind of meat you can get is from pigs. They drop pork chops. Yeah, you can't even critical hit with jumping either. Weird. Yeah, he didn't even drop anything. Come on. I'm just trying to look at that tree off in the distance. I thought that was a beehive on it, I was going to say. It's weird, but it's not. It's just a piece of floating grass. Wow, I just killed two pigs and didn't get anything. Maybe they don't drop meat. I thought they did, though. So yeah, this game is pretty bare bones at this point. Um, there's no structures like villages or whatever. There's no uh, there's no end. I don't even know if the Nether exists yet, to be honest. And if it does, I'm assuming it's nowhere near as fleshed out as it is today. Ooh, that's actually nice iron right there. Perfect. I haven't even made a stone pickaxe yet. But um, yeah, I just felt like getting back into Minecraft a bit, and why not start with a uh, playthrough of... Oh, that scared me for a second. <laughs> um, I heard it was stone, and I thought it was stone breaking, but it was just my footsteps. Yeah, that's another thing about this um, this kind of version or era of Minecraft, you could say. It's creepy, man. I don't know what it is. Something about... Like, once again, something about the way the game looks, or feels, or whatever, just makes it very eerie. I... I guess I could, like, try to... Try to explain? It just seems so, like, bare, right? It seems like nothing is here. Yet, there's always something, like, watching you, right? Because obviously, this is a single player world, there's nothing else in my world with me. I'm totally alone, other than the animals and monsters that spawn occasionally. But, um, for some reason, it always just feels like something is, like, you know, there with me. Or is watching what I'm doing, or can see exactly what I'm doing at all times. And I don't know why. Wish I knew why this game makes us feel like that. Oh, there's some... Uh, I'm not gonna fall down that hole. Whatever, I'll go get coal later. But uh, yeah, I uh, don't really have any other Minecraft... Oh. Ow. Minecraft playthroughs that I'm in the middle of, so I thought, why not start a new one? And I think the episodes are gonna be a lot longer. Like, I might almost go for an hour just to... Uh, just to cover quite a bit. Like, record for an hour. I don't know if the episode itself will be an hour long. Um, but yeah, basically, 
I don't really have any end goal or start goal for this. I just want to mess around in beta or alpha Minecraft to see, see what there is to see, do what there is to do, you know? Oh, more iron there, nice. Seven iron now, have enough to make a guess, pickaxe and boots or something like that. Cows are very loud. They only drop leather in this game as well. I suppose I can make armor though. Which I uh, would assume I'm going to need because I can't sleep, so at nighttime I'm going to have to either like get into a hole or I'm going to have to go down into a cave and just hide out for the night. Interesting looking tunnel right here. Yeah, the world generation is a lot different in this game, and I don't know why. What the hell? Why did it, why did it generate like that? Almost seems like someone tunneled in there at night to hide away and then dug themselves back up afterwards. Weird. I'd really like to run into some more pigs so I can get some more, uh, Whatever you call it, more uh, pork chops, or not even more, just pork chops at all, because I don't even have any. And I know I should make a sword, but uh, I just don't feel like placing my crafting table back down right now. So wow, that pickaxe broke fast. I didn't even mine that much with it. Uh, any coal? I think there's some coal over there. Maybe I'll head over there quick. One thing I do remember is that the days go by really fast. Like... Like, way faster than they do, you know, in the newer updates. And I don't know why. Like, I guess they just want to throw the monsters at you sooner. But, um, it does make the game annoying. I'm going to save until I get two more leather and then make a chest plate. Have a bit of protection. I don't think uh, there's even an enchantment table in this game yet, so... Not very relevant. Also, food does not stack. And I think the only other type of food at this point is um is mushroom stew, as far as I know. Because you can find both types of mushroom. Oh, there's that classic Minecraft music. I do need to find coal, kind of, though, because I would uh, prefer to have light by the time it starts to get dark out. And as far as I remember, it gets dark... Like, it goes from being light out to being dark out extremely quickly. Like, the switch is almost instant. Definitely don't want to be out in the open when that happens, so... Make my way over here where I saw that coal. Ooh. This could be dangerous. There it is. Bit of coal, anyway. Some flowers over there. And I love this music. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Minecraft might have the best music in any video game of all time. And, uh... You can quote me on that, I don't care. I love this game. Love everything about it. And, uh... It will be one of my favorite video games of all time. Probably until the day I die. darkness. I guess I'll burrow into this hill.
see a big hill or something off in the distance, so I think in the morning I'll go uh, explore that. I suppose I can dig out the rest of this coal while I'm trapped in here. Sucks that you can't make a bed, because uh, that would be very useful for trying to just skip the night time. Because that is its main use. Start a smelting some stuff though, why not? Yeah, I don't know why, but I've really been into digital horror lately. <clears throat> and if you don't know what digital horror is, uh, definitely go search it up if horror is your thing. Because obviously there's analog horror, which is like back in the 80s when analog TVs used to exist. It's basically all those characters and styles of um, film just being turned into you know, horror shows and um, projects and stuff like that. But digital horror is like, you know, the 20... Like, the early 2010s, late, late 90s, um, and I don't know what about it, it's just, it's either nostalgic or just fun, I don't know, I, I like horror, I tend to, um, there's a lot of horror movies that I really enjoy watching, and, uh, for some reason, digital horror just really hits the spot to me. You're a spider, but, uh. Whatever. So like how there's no animation for eating at all, you just you just use it and it's gone. Do I dig down or do I just yeah. I guess there's not really any harm, right? Something out there. Ah, oh, whatever. My pickaxe already broke. Not the iron one, the uh, stone one. I think I'll make a bunch of stone ones. Or at least a couple of them. I, uh, I actually wasn't even planning on filming this. I was just gonna play some alpha or beta Minecraft and I thought. You don't have to start with the cave noises yet, man. Come on. Oh man, Minecraft's cave noises are great. Like it's it's crazy that they made them so creepy. It's like if you think of a cave noise, what do you think of like, you know, water? Why did the lava change color? Oh, okay, never mind. You think of like maybe water dropping, like a couple stones hitting the ground. No, in Minecraft, when uh. When you think of cave noises, you think literally, literally of, um, you know, the creepiest noises imaginable. Like, shrieks and echoes and screams. And I don't know who made the cave noises originally in this game. Like, I don't know whose idea it was. But, uh, you know, I don't like them very much. And, you know, I'm sure they're a great person. I'm sure they're very successful and, uh, living a great life. But, um, I really don't appreciate it. I wish Minecraft had normal cave noises, but, uh, you know, we got what we got, PC. It's pretty powerful. Like, I have decent specs. Like, I got a 3060 Ti, I got a 5700X, um, but, uh, I just... Like, even, like, lighter games, I, when I'm running something else on my second monitor and then have, you know, the game running on the first monitor, it tends to be pretty unstable. Like, for example, Terraria, I, uh, when I was grinding through that game, trying to get all the achievements, what happened is I would watch videos on my second monitor and it would crash periodically. Like, it wouldn't be like I would log on instantly crashed. It would be like every hour or two it would crash and that's not super you know not, it, it could definitely be worse but um it was pretty annoying cuz i uh didn't like having to reload especially if i was in the middle of like a boss fight or an event or something and you know 
it basically counts as dying if you leave, because it resets you back to where you started and whatever you were doing is over. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, skeletons don't even hold their bows normally, they just have them like it's just a regular item there. All the guys will start to burn though, which is nice. This guy hopefully will stop chasing me. Should probably go mining soon for some uh, diamonds or something, but uh, whatever. It's nice and bright out, so maybe I should just go and explore instead. Oh, yeah, you're nice in the day, aren't you? Nice. No string? Too bad. Didn't see anything dropped from that skeleton, so we will continue on. You know, not touch these cactuses. Don't want to die to get some arrows though. She could see more spiders, man. I need um need string for a bow. Oh. My game is frozen. Still recording. Um not really sure what the issue is. Uh, I will alt F4 and load back in. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what would cause that crash. I guess those alpha versions tend to be pretty unstable, so that could be it. Okay, my word's, world's still here. Alright, so I'm right back where I was. It's weird. Wonder uh, what would have caused that crash if it was just the the version of Minecraft that I'm playing on. Maybe it was Hero Brian. Who knows? So one thing I've kind of thought of doing, it hasn't. I don't know. It's. Oh, why is inventory I? That's so stupid. I hate it. But um, the thing that I think would be cool. So there's these things called the far lands if i'm remembering correctly basically it's like the world border for some reason instead of just being like a border that cuts you off from moving it is now a bunch of like weird blocks that are placed just kind of in like sections i don't know it's weird looking but um if you make it to the edge of the world you find these far lands type place i don't know whatever basically if you keep going past those, your games will eventually just break, pretty much. But, uh, I would love to, like, travel to them and see them. I think it would be really cool. But, uh, it's, like, super, super far away, so... Might be, a Might be a lot more of a commitment than I think. But, you know, nonetheless, we will try. I think, honestly, I'll just head and this direction and uh, go as far as possible. Come here, cow. Nothing. Come here, feathers. A lot of these mobs just don't drop anything, man. So I like how uh, leveling up isn't even a thing in this game, so obviously there's no such thing as enchanting. At least not yet, anyway. Whoa. Hole. Oh. What's in here? Any iron? Surface iron? Nah. It's a weird hole. Yeah, the world generation is messy, I will say. Do, 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 do. Die. Come here. Thank you. Man, my entire inventory is just gonna be filled with uh with meat. Can you make a shovel in this or I mean not a shovel, can you make a uh, boat in this version, I wonder? Should I try it? I think so. Might save me a lot of time in the future. Nice. This crafting table. Get in there. Remember when he had to make a boat with 
like a freaking shovel and uh whatever. That was a weird. It was like a shovel plus the regular boat, which might kind of make sense, I think, because you use the shovel as an oar, but like, you know, in this version, you don't even have an oar. You literally just have a boat and you just magically move forward, I suppose. However that works. How do I get out? How do I get out of the boat? Do I just have to break it? Oh yeah, and I forgot, if you freaking Also yeah, my hand looks weird now, that's interesting. But yeah, I guess if you uh want to get out of your boat, you just have to break it, which is weird. Keep heading in this direction, I suppose. I don't think dirt blocks could spawn naturally. Weird. The generation in this game is wild. I kind of realized that Fallout series, if I really want to play the entire game and all of the DLCs, that is going to be an incredibly long uh, series. Because I am not even done the like third main quest, and I'm already on video six. So I might start live streaming some parts if that makes it easier for me. Don't know. Got me more iron here somewhere, right? Guess not. So I could go down that hole. It's still daytime though. I don't know. If I see any iron straight away. Oh. Speak of the devil. How much do I got now? Seven. Beautiful. I think I'll make some uh, leggings. It's probably the next uh, most useful thing I can make. Some more protection. Some of these trees are absolutely massive too, like, like I know there's still big trees that generate today, but um, it's usually not this many and not this uh, condensed, weird, take out these cows, so I don't like that I can't sprint, but um, I guess they just didn't think that you should be able to run in this version of the game. So the AI act very weird, like the cows literally just jump after being hit with a literal sword. Oh, it's starting to get dark, oh, my nose might start bleeding as well. Possibly, I don't know. Can't tell. You know what? I think tonight we'll make a tree house. This game is kind of eerie. No music, no real sounds, and just darkness filled by an occasional monster all around me. It kind of makes you think what else really is out there. And we ultimately know that the answer is nothing, because the game, it's developers didn't code it with intent to have another player or entity or whatever out there. But you can't help but feeling like there might just be something. Something that's just out of sight or out of reach. Like, every time you reach a new destination, someone's just been there. And you're always one step behind them, but never, uh, never quite fast enough to reach them. I am out of stuff to say that sounds cool or interesting. Except for one thing, stay frosty.